example is students as we all have come to know about first two subtopics of food and digestion which was why do we need food and different types of nutrients which included carbohydrates proteins minerals vitamins and fat so in this video i'll be discussing another subtopics so let us proceed to this so students let us again discuss what we did in the previous lesson and what we will learn in today's class so in the last class we learn the necessity of food in the topic why do we need food second was different types of nutrients which include carbohydrate proteins fats minerals and vitamins we also learned about their utilization and the amount they have to be taken the third topic we learned was balanced diet that all nutrients are to be taken in proper amount to remain healthy now let us talk what we will learn today in today's lesson we will be doing journey of food in which we will learn about the digestive system of human and different organs involved in the digestive system of human being in this slide we will learn about the journey of food and each organ associated with it you can see in the figure the digestive system of human being the food passes to different organs and each organ has its own job to do but all organs work together so you can see in the slide i have given the name of different part that is associated with the digestive system of human those are first is mouth or it is also known as buccal cavity second food pipe also known as esophagus third stomach fourth small intestine fifth large intestine and the last one rectum so students in this slide i will be explaining you briefly about the digestive system of human so you can see the figure of human digestive system over here so the first part you let us imagine eating apple or any other food okay so the first part while you eat is you put the thing inside your mouth so the digestive system starts from the mouth or it is known as buccal cavity also or oral cavity so the food passes from the mouth through the food pipe also known as esophagus this is your food pipe and it reaches to the stomach so stomach is the third part of the digestive system from the stomach the food passes through the small intestine okay this one is the small intestine from the small intestine the food passes through the large intestine this one green color is your large intestine and orange color is your small intestine so from there the food passes to the rectum it's not mentioned there but there is a part called rectum over here and the food comes out the wasted food or excretory food comes out from an opening called anus so till now you all come to know that mouth is the first part of the digestive system here the teeth present in the mouth grind the food into smaller pieces when you take the food the teeth present in the mouth grind the food into smaller pieces and the saliva which is present in your mouth helps to make the food soft and also starts to break down starch to sugar so while you take food you take in the form of starch that is a complex form of sugar so the saliva present in your mouth it makes the food softer and it also breaks the food from starch to sugar so it is breaking your food into simpler compound so student you need to know that mouth is also known as buccal cavity so in this slide you can see it's written food pipe food pipe is also known as esophagus 
so the main function of foot pipe is the swallowed foot slips down the foot see food is here so from the esophagus the foot slips down and it reaches to the stomach so the main function of stomach is to carry food from mouth to stomach so in this slide we are going to learn about stomach which is one of the main part of digestive system so it is a bag like structure you can see in the figure it is a bag like muscular structure where the swallowed food food is collected here the food is churned and ground and mixed with the digestive juices so different digestive juices are there in the stomach so the food are more ground the stomach grind the food and it will get mixed with the digestive juices present in the stomach in the stomach some acids are also present okay you need to know that the stomach in stomach some acids are present which are added to kill the bacteria so bacteria may present in our food right so to kill the bacteria in the stomach acids are present now in the stomach the food looks like a thick soup which is known as chyme so in the stomach now food is ground churned and it turns into a thick soup like structure which is known as chyme now the semi digestive food reaches to the small intestine you know semi digested means half digested now it should be digested more so in this slide you can see the figure of small intestine and also large intestine right so let us first study about small intestine after the food is partially digested partially means half digested or semi digested in the stomach they enter the small intestine where the food are digestive juices are added more digestive juices are added to the small intestine and the food is completely digested in small intestine so the question may come in which part of the or in which organ of the digestive system the food is completely digested what you will say it is completely digested in small intestine okay so here the food turns into a liquid it turns from the soup it turns into a liquid which is absorbed by blood now the food turns into a liquid which can be absorbed by our blood okay from the same figure let us learn about large intestine and rectum okay in the large intestine the undigested food which is present in the small intestine it goes now to the large intestine and water which is present in the food is absorbed by the large intestine okay so the undigested one the food which are undigested they are passed to the rectum stored here and thrown out of our body through the opening called anus let me repeat it again the undigested food is stored in the rectum and thrown away from the opening called anus so hope the digestive system or journey of our food is clear to you people so let us move to the assignment so your assignment is draw the diagram of the human digestive system you need to draw the diagram with the different part and you need to label or name the part of the digestive system number 2 what sorry it became what the, the it is what is the different parts of the digestive system of human what is the different part that is involved in the digestive system of human and the third one is what happens to the food in the stomach so these three are your assignment for today Thank you student stay safe and stay healthy at your home